Hello and welcome to YouTube channel Health Q, the place where my mission is to motivate you and help you to move on to the brighter side of the health. And not only my mission, it's actually our team's mission. Yes, we are growing faster and we have an amazing team of physiotherapists who are here to build a community of people for movement related disorders and at the same time provide some amazing rehab services. So, Today, in this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to explain you what is nerve conduction velocity test. If you go through any sort of nerve injury, then nerve conduction velocity test is a very commonly prescribed test. If you suffer from facial paralysis also, at that time as well, nerve conduction velocity test is very easily prescribed. So what exactly is this nerve conduction velocity test? what is done in that and to diagnose what are conditions basically this test is advised we are going to discuss all of them in today's video so make sure to watch this video till the end if you who are someone who is going through some sort of nerve injury let's begin well nerve conduction velocity test also called as ncv test is a neurological examination or is a diagnostic procedure which is used in order to identify the level of damage that has happened to the nerve in this test nerve conduction is tested or is the speed at which the nerve conducts the impulses is tested whenever there would be a damage to the nerve this speed would be reduced at the same time the amplitude or is the force with which a nerve conducts and gives impulses will also be tested so basically in this test what would be figured out is how fast your nerve is carrying the impulse from one place to other as simple as that so whenever there would be nerve damage this speed would be reduced and that's why nerve conduction velocity test will help in identifying whether there is a nerve damage or not now whenever this test is performed what happens is the area where nerve damage is suspected in that area two electrodes are used one electrode is to do stimulation of the nerve or else this electrode will stimulate the nerve and the second electrode will capture the impulse or else the contraction of the impulse that has gone to that nerve. During this process the nerve is stimulated and then the electrode patch which is attached to the skin in the affected area will capture this entire stimulation process and will observe how far or is how was the speed of this nerve conduction and what was the amplitude of this nerve conduction the resulting electrical activity is hence recorded and is repeated on the other side as well hence nerve conduction velocity is mostly done on both the sides so that comparison can be made in the speed at which the nerve is doing its conduction process in both the sides the speed of this nerve conduction is calculated by measuring the distance between the two electrodes and the time it takes for the nerve or is the impulse to reach from one electrode to other electrode and that's how the nerve conduction velocity test is performed now what are the uses of this test as i said nerve conduction velocity test is used specifically to identify nerve damage hence in any of the situation or conditions where damage to the nerve is suspected in those situation nerve conduction velocity test is usually prescribed some of the conditions in which nerve conduction velocity test is very commonly prescribed are number one facial paralysis or bell's palsy number two carpal tunnel syndrome Number 3, Guillain-Barre syndrome. Number 4, brachial plexus injury. Number 5, peroneal nerve injury. Number 6, ulnar nerve injury. Number 7, radial nerve injury. Number 8, charcot Marie tooth disease. And number 9, herniated disc disease. Now, these are some names which I have just mentioned in order to give you an example in what all situation nerve conduction velocity test is prescribed. But there are a huge list of conditions in which nerve conduction velocity test can be given. Mostly, this test is not that painful, even though it's a little discomforting because the nerve is stimulated by a short electrical impulse. But this is a non-invasive test which means there is no pricking of needles or anything that happens on this and that's why it's easy to do. Usually electrodiagnostic technicians are the one who will perform this test under a physiologist 
or else sometimes even physiotherapists who are trained in nerve conduction velocity test are involved in performing of this test. You can find nerve conduction velocity test done very easily in most of the hospitals and diagnostic centers. So this was a brief about nerve conduction velocity test. Every nerve that is tested have its normal range of speed at which the nerve conduction happens and the amplitude at which the or is the strength at which the nerve contraction or conduction happens. This test matches it with the standard volumes which is defined for each and every nerve specifically. Now there are a few precautions that has to be taken while conducting this test. These precautions are like taking care of a patient or of the site where this nerve conduction velocity test is done if there are some open wounds, if there is tremendous amount of pain that a patient is undergoing, number three if patient has got some cardiac pacemaker or defibrillator present in the body or else if the patient has got spinal cord or brain related damage. These things has to be taken into the consideration by the doctor before performing the test. With the help of this test, what can be identified is first at what level of the nerve the damage has happened. Number two, how severe is the damage which means if the duration of impulse from the point where stimulation is given and the recording electrode between these two if the duration is very high that means the damage is severe. The third thing the amplitude or else the strength with which the nerve contraction has happened that is also measured. Based on this the ideal calculations are done and then they are compared with the normal sign and conclusion is made accordingly and treatment is further decided accordingly. So this is a very important diagnostic test when it comes to nerve related injuries and specifically in facial nerve injuries as well this nerve conduction velocity test is very important to identify what is the level of nerve injury. Now here one thing I would like to add on is nerve conduction velocity test many doctors prescribe immediately after Bell's palsy to see what is the level of nerve injury. But most of the time if it is a very acute situation if it is a fresh case of Bell's palsy then the nerve conduction velocity is definitely going to show very poor results because the nerve is under pressure but if the same nerve is tested after one month or two months or three months of time frame tremendous amount of improvement can be seen that's why sometimes doctor check this test during the beginning of the Bell's palsy episode and at the end of the third month to compare how much recovery has happened. But this decision varies from doctor to doctor, not all doctor prescribe this because it is all dependent on the history, what are the clinical signs and symptoms that patient are showing and other factors as well. Hence it's quite normal that if your doctor suggests you to go for nerve conduction velocity test, you should absolutely go for it. But it's not necessary that every time your doctor will prescribe. So it all depends on your doctor's will or else his clinical decision making. If you want to understand more about it and if your doctor prescribe, feel free to have a conversation with your doctor to understand more about this test. So this was a brief about nerve conduction velocity test. I hope you found this video informative. If yes, make sure to like this video, share this video with your friends and family members and do not forget to subscribe to HealthQ channel. I'll see you in another video. Thank you.